So, a bit of a different video today, but I've been given a rocker tilter wheel set for my birthday. A Flora. It's basically a little kit that you build, and I believe it's similar to one of the other ones I've got, where it kind of all pushes together. There's no glue required. Um, this one's kind of like Marauder's Mayhem, but a mini version. It's got kind of um, music, LED lights, ages 14 plus, so I should be all right. Um, but yeah, I shall take you along as I build it. So, just open the box. Everything comes in kind of IKEA style flat pack. So each bit contains a different number, if it's similar to the ones I've done before. So each sheet is kind of, well that's sheet F, there's sheet A, and there's a whole range of different sheets with all the different parts on. You've also got some little sandpaper that's included as well. Not sure what those white things are, but I'm sure we'll find out. And got some, looks like the kind of decoration around the side of it, cardboard. Got some plastic thing, not entirely sure what that is. We've got an instruction manual. Charles of parts lists. And then the various stages that you go through to actually make the model. I do apologise about the squeaking as well as the chair. So, there's a few more things that I always keep to hand when I build these kits. Set of tool of screwdrivers, not necessarily to use the screwdrivers, but to push the bits out from the wood, because sometimes it can be quite fiddly and there's little bits you have to push out. And the other thing I always have handy is a craft knife as well, just to chop any kind of burrs off the edges of the bits of wood. So, got the instructions out. The first thing you have to do is you have to collect the bits that you need for each of the stages. So in the instructions, you've got the letters for each of the sheets. So they're all the bits from sheet A, sheet B, Sheet D and MP4, I believe, are the quirky bits, which in this case I think is one of the plastic rings. So yeah, I'll collect all those bits and I'll put the first bits together. So I forgot a very important aspect of building these little wooden kits. And that's a glass of red wine when you're doing it. Don't think we've ever had this one before, but yeah, it helps the build process definitely. So one thing you have to be careful of, sometimes you have to take bits out of the middle, but you have to keep them for later. In this case, that middle bit needs to come out, and there's actually a tool in there that I think you probably need at some point. Yeah, put that to one side for now. So some of the bits on this one are quite small. So I suggested earlier, I always use a little jeweler screwdriver just to help pop the pieces out, make it a little bit easier. They are quite fiddly. These are like little joining pins that hold everything together. Need four of these. So, I've now got all the bits I need for doing the first stage. So in the instructions, one of the first thing it says, I'm not sure you can see that, is you have to wax the grey parts with Remind. I really think they're not using the right Google Translate there. But anyway, what they actually mean it's the little kind of cog bits. It comes with little wax things, which I showed you earlier. And basically, you have to rub those all around the cogs to make sure that the cogs are kind of uh, waxed up so they don't get stuck when it actually is all put together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I just put some wax on. Basically, I just run the wax around the edges. It's all nicely covered in wax now. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit blurry, but... So the next bit as per the instructions is this little D1 sheet sits on top of there and then the cog sits on top of that and then there's four little um, screws is the word I'm looking for that screw into the top to pull it all together. So I've got my pieces ready for the next stage including this weird plastic thing. So we've got all our pieces ready for the next bit. One thing I mentioned as well is I just push these out. As you can see, sometimes it leaves a little burrs on. 
So sometimes they come off quite easy, but that's kind of why I keep a knife handy as well, just to chop little birds off. So, so that's that bit done, eventually. That took a bit of effort, because I didn't want to go in the holes. Right, I've got to get some more pieces, so I'll come back to you. So the next bits I've got to collect are quite cool pieces. They're, I think they're the bits that go around the edges at the bottom of the uh, the ride. There's all these ones with the got little uh, like monkey swinger, seal, it's that cannon, crab in a hat, and then blade from Alton Towers. Sorry, no, it's just pirate ship. There's some more down the bottom there. Oh, yeah. There's the Ferris wheel. You've got a... Bear my ball? Yeah, bit inappropriate nowadays. On a roller, and a roller coaster. coaster. Hashtag coaster. So, I've got all the next pieces. It does say in the instructions to please take these pieces from the board carefully for their fragility. So that's what I did. And now, I think it's just a case of... So after lots of swearing and more wine, I managed to get all those in. That was quite fiddly to be fair. But at the moment, they're all staying in. So it's on to the next. So it looks like we're constructing the little staircase. Or one of the little staircases. So basically there's two bits that join the other bits together. I've also prepared these other bits, which have little tiny bits slotted on the top of them. They look like they're holding those panels over yeah, on Yeah, so I think if we grab this bit back. So we've got each of these that go in the relevant holes. So after a little five minute break to calm down, I got Laura to do this off camera because <laughs> I couldn't do that bit at all. It was too fiddly for my big sausage fingers. So the next bit is putting the steps in, which looks a lot easier than the last bit. So it looks like it just slots in and slots forwards. There we go. They're the bits I like. Right. That's the first page. Sorry, second page complete. On to the third page. So the next bits we had to get out are these little bits here, which were quite difficult to get out because they've got like a Constantina effect on them where they're chopped so they can go around a corner. But it does say in the instructions, the spare bits on boardy, which is quite good. So if you broke them and you're getting them out, there's a few spares. We're about to encounter a cat in our building process. Don't run the box cat. It is. He's trying to eat in the box again. To yeah. eat bits. So we have to so stop filming and get rid of the cat. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Snacking on the pieces. Come on, cat. That one there has got to be my favourite sheet. Yep, it's got lots of colour on it. Oh, colour. i got to get this. Signage, teacups. Yep. Gonna make a mental, mental note of this one, but this piece in the top right hand corner here, that one there, it's got the Rocker logo on it. And on the last set I did, I spent three hours building it and then realised I put the Rocker logo upside down. Needless to say, it's still on the shelf upside down. I haven't fixed it. So. Let's get this bit out. That one. It looks like it just clips in. Like so. It's starting to look quite cool now. Oh, yeah. I think it is all there, isn't it? Oh, 
these these pieces just slot in around the back. You've got pattern on them, and I've got these little wedge things that go into the holes, which are quite tricky to put in. Right, so we've got to the stage where I think this is the on-off switch that we're running on. I think that's what it is anyway. So it shows that we get that. We got one of these two standing signs. I think that goes on the back. Just there. Pushes in. Like so. And then that gets fed through fed through the middle. Right, so the next stage is to start building the actual disc that the teacup set on, I think. Where we've got our first motor out of two motors, I believe. So, next bit of assembly is we have to flip it over. And then this big ring somehow attaches to. Holes. There's one. That sounds good. Right, so that's the screws in to hold the plastic bit onto the main assembly. So we've got the next few parts together and the next bit is you've got the central cog mechanism and you've also got a strip of LED lights which effectively attach to the outside of the cog and it also supplies you with some double sided adhesive paper. I'm going to get lower to this bit because it's got more delicate hands. Rub it again. There's going to be a bit off. Right, now someone tells me I start this by the arrow and go that way. Sit there. You can't sit there. It's not productive to building teacup rides. You good? Right, need some more parts. So, I've got my next parts ready. 
which is it looks like the actual section of the teacup said to me. And there's another one of those weird bendy bits that goes around corners. And also the dreaded double sided tape. You know I can ask Laura now. Please put double sided tape all the way around the edges of this one. Was. That was a different glass of wine. This is a different night. We're not drinking all the wine on the same night. So the next stage is to add the bendy bit into this. it's putting the LED lights all the way around. So I just put together this bit. It's one of those bendy ones. Obviously the other bit that goes on there. Right, so going back to this, we've got that on the bottom with the wire for that there. You then got your main assembly with the red, yellow, and black wire going through the circle. So that goes through, the wires have to get, be routed different ways, so the red one goes through the hole there. The green and black one goes straight through the middle there. And then that one goes through there. Locks into place, then underneath. That's not me, that's the cat, by the way. Don't know what he's worried about. So that was a bit fiddly, but basically you put a bar across there to hold the wire from the LEDs and the wire from the on and off switch, I suppose. Yeah, this is the next bit. So I've got the next bunch of parts ready, which is another motor. I'm not sure what that is. Is it a speaker? Might be a speaker. Some screws, wooden parts. And now build in this. I'll get to it. Some more parts, not that many for this bit. It's a screw washer. I think all those got into this thing. Not entirely sure what this is yet. It's part of the uh, mechanism, I think. 
but it does say that we need to wax up the cog again. So we've got a wax in between each one. That just helps the mechanism. More bits to fit. These fit onto the main section. So we've got the B12. And the B12s go Parts. We've got some screws to attach the turntable onto the base. We've got the, that's like the main control center, I think the batteries go in there as well. We've got all the connections for all the different wires. So the first thing we need to do is put these screws into the bottom to secure this so it doesn't drop off again. So we need some batteries. So the next bit is to connect the connections up to all the different wires. So following the instructions, we've got the first one is the white and black wire, which is this one. It looks like that only goes in one wire, which is the other. The first one, the second one we've got is the green wire. Again, it goes in a certain way by the look of it, which is that way. This is when you need smaller hands, not massive giant hands like me. Then you've got the grey and black wire. This one. And that connects into that one. Then we've got the process for elimination. That one will only fit in there. Oh, it's turned on again. It's all, going, it's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. I love the way you have to patch the power switch. <laughs> okay. So you have to wait till it comes around again. <laughs> there you go. Okay. That's a bit odd. <laughs> it's that again. <laughs> oh god, I got to turn around. What's the why is it keep turning on? Right. Carefully does it. Right, let's put this connection in here before the damn thing starts again. Right. It's all in. Oh dear God. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty cool that it's going around there. It does. Look. Really? It looks a little bit more sturdier than what it previously was. No. Oh. That wasn't fun, was it? At least we know it works. Right, okay. So. So far it was pretty cool, even though I haven't got anything on it. So the next bit was how we build the natural teacups. So there's a couple of different parts to assemble. We've got to do five of them. You know, they've got like the little uh, things you hold on to in the middle. Yep. <laughs> that was pretty cool. They got little seats. Oh, they have got little seats as well. Little seats. A very, very tiny chain to like close the door up on it. No, but we could augment it. So 
that. Uh, zoom still way out. Is in the middle. Okay. One little teacup. Is. Got the middle bit steering wheel thing. Oh, that's a spare handle. So, yeah, that's five cups. Mm, five cups. I need a lot more spare parts now. So, got a little bit of a cat issue, as he, you can see there, he's sitting on the Bits. making himself comfy. I'm just going to eat them in a second. I'll go to finish them up. Mm, there's some interesting shaped bits there. Oh, are they the saucers? That might be. It goes on there. About that. Just put a screw in it. I'm guessing by the fact that there's five screws and five cups. Yeah, I think you have to, yeah, they screw on after though. So you have to make all five of those. And then they screw on, on that bit there. So once you've made all five cups for that, they screw on to the bottom bit there. That's the tarnish bit. So I've got to make five of these things now. So I've built all the cups, saucers. Five cups and saucers. And now this bit is what they all attach to, and it shows in the manual to wax them up. So all these circles on each of the ends, I'm just putting a bit of wax. Did it wax, or is it like silicony? Mm, it's like a wax. Smells weird. Right, and then we've got these little things go into the middle. So that's there we are. Is which side did I wax? That side. So got a teacup. <laughs> teacup upside down. I don't think it matters which way the teacup goes on, but I guess I'm supposed to wax the other side of that. No, it shows that side. So that goes on there like so. We've got an F2 which clips over. And then you've got a screw that goes on the top. And that is what attaches the teacup. There's one teacup. Yeah, we've got spinning teacups. It looks like they go straight on. So going back to the main bit again. Move this to our side, it's showing, I think I've already done this, but it's showing to wax the top of this big cog that goes all around the edge. A bit of wax across the top of it. I'll also put some on the spines of the actual cog as well. Just rub some around the edge there. There is the teacups. Go in. Now it's showing on there to make sure the gears are arranged. So it's pointing all the handles to the middle. You can't try and get the box. Visit it you in boxes. No, it's through the box. Be gone. Right, so... Let's see down the bottom. So that there is what connects up to the actual gear mechanism. Right, so we need to arrange the cup handles, not the fork handles. 
and that then should slot onto the gear in the middle. Make sure that all the cups are in the right place, like so. Switch it on. If the coloured parts cannot run smoothly, please wax the gears. I don't know. Looks right to me. A bit more wax on, just see whether or not it runs any smoother. I think it will always be a bit jerky, but I think it's better than it was. Okay. So I've now got to polish my ring with some paper. Is it any sandpaper? Is it not a nail file? There's still some bits attached to this which you have to take off as well. Little bits of wood. It is, yeah, no file. This is a bit weird because it's not very flexible. waxing your rim again. I'm waxing my rim again. My finger right deep in the hole of the wax. Right, the rim is fully waxed and lubricated. So, this now, fully lubricated holes slip over, I should slip over, the cups. And then I presume that sits on top of there. Make sure the gears are engaged. Got a little more bit, and this is making like the central bit that goes in the middle of the teacups to hold it all in place. There. Yes, there. Right, so we've got F17. It's quite a cute looking thing. And then we got that to flash it off. And that holds it all together. It's quite a cool little thing. And that, oh, we need to get a few more parts. Here's the last bit, I think. It's not last page, but it's now the last page. Right, more bits. So, there is a screw that goes in the middle first before we put the top bit on. I think that holds everything together. Screw that in. Where have you gone? Where are you going? Yeah, you went to get a bigger screw. Yes. Oh no. Right. Let's not press that bit. Okay. Then that bit goes in the middle. We'll go in there properly. Yeah, that's the middle bit complete. And there's some other bits. Oh, trying to catch it. There we go. Which, oh, all that middle bit. Some other bits that are just dotted around now. So, we need E9 times 2. We need E10. Yeah, let me just put on some around a little bit. So, around the place. I can see on one of the other boards over here that we've got a teacup sign. So I'm guessing this construction here is what's going to be holding that teacup sign. Go 
sagen. Finally, I've guessed the resistance. I like the fact that they did leave that till last. Yes, it's kind it's of like. Cool, isn't it? it's also, this is the bit that's going to break. Sick. No. Not on that. There you go. It is finished. Go on then, press a button. Question is, why we get copyrighted to the music? You've been watching Coasting with the Joneses. Please like, share, subscribe, and most of all, stay awesome.